Hi there, Stefan here from the French Cooking Academy, the place to go if you want to learn how to cook authentic French food. Now today we are revisiting our classic and we're going to learn how to make a basic salad composé from Escoffier. Salad composé means a composed salad, different vegetables uh, planted together on a dish with different types of dressing. We're also going to answer the question from the quiz that I put online on how many base dressing there is in the Escoffier book. All of that coming up right now. And welcome back. So what is the answer from the quiz from our culinary book from Escoffier, the Escoffier Culinary Guide? The answer is six. Number six, there are six base dressing we should know when we want to make properly a set of crudités. It's called sometimes in English, uh, uh, but in French it's called the salad composé. So what are we going to be doing today is the platter of this little crudité and this kind of raw vegetables or sometimes cooked vegetables mixed with dressing. We're going to use a tray like this and we're going to lay out a set of lettuce, some beetroot, some celery yak and also some fresh tomatoes huh, done in a real and true French fashion. And you will see that simple details can make a huge difference. So before we start, let's uh, have a closer look at these six dressings uh, from the Escoffier book. The Escoffier uh, is a book from Auguste Escoffier, which is labeled as the father of all French chef. If you don't know, if you want to get the book, I've got the link in the video description. Here are the dressing, assaisonnement et salade, or assaisonnement des salades, sorry. This is the French version. As you can see here, one, here should be two, so type was one, two, three, four, five, and six. Very quickly, what are these six dressings? À l'huile, which is oil, vinegar, salt and pepper, which is the French dressing. À la crème, which is the cream dressing, which is just crème fraîche with lemon or vinegar, salt and pepper. Number three is the egg dressing, which is a type of mayonnaise made with the uh, egg yolks that are cooked. Uh, I've, seen, I've, I've got that in one of the videos. Check the video description for that recipe. The number four is the lard seasoning especially used for dandelion where we use the fat of bacon that we melt in a pan and we mix it with vinegar, salt and pepper to make a dressing and it's a warm dressing. The number five is mustard and cream that we're going to see today actually in more details and the last one is the mayonnaise. So using all of these dressings you can make an array of vegetables that are going to really taste differently. Today we're going to concentrate on that platter using three of these dressings. Let's cook. First up, the ingredients. Today we're going to concentrate on the dressing size. I'm not going to spend much time on the vegetable and how to prepare them, just the one we haven't covered. Uh, uh, and that's going to be mostly this one, the celery egg. So for the vegetables, we're going to be using celery egg, tomatoes, lettuce, oven cooked beetroot and oven cooked onions. I may throw some hard boiled eggs for the decoration. For the dressing, however, this is what's important. The salt and uh, rock salt is always good, a mix of pepper. And some egg yolks for the mayonnaise, we get some shallot, we get some onion, we're going to be using some lemon juice, some parsley for decoration, some oil, mustard and of course the red wine vinegar and here are just some tools we're going to be using the whisk and this is just the juicer and we're ready to start. For the mise en place food preparation, of course, when you want to make a salad, very important to have everything ready in terms of what you're going to be using. I've boiled some eggs here, uh, yeah, keep them in water when they boil. I've oven roasted the beetroot and an onion. I've got a video on this already on how to cook the beetroot. If you don't know, you just put them on the tray. You can rub them in foil or not and leave them to cook for about an hour at 180 degrees Celsius. And, you, and this is the result you'll get. And we're going to see how to use that. I've washed uh, and detailed my lettuce. It's all ready to go. I've cleaned my tomatoes and all my onion ingredients are ready to be used. So now we can start with the dressings. And now let's start with the dressing. The dressing number one from Escoffier is called the uh, oil dressing, which is the French vinaigrette. We're going to do a slight variant, which is the vinaigrette with mustard. The measurement for the French dressing is always the spoon. Huh? You start with a pinch of salt, followed by a pinch of pepper of your choice. And from here, immediately you can already add about, you know, a teaspoon of mustard. When the mustard is in, you add one tablespoon of vinegar. Okay. And you're going to dilute everything, meaning the mustard with the salt and the vinegar is going to help dilute all that together before we add the oil. Okay, so just a little bit like this. And when it's all done, 
you're gonna add three tablespoons of oil of your choice. It's gonna be sunflower, peanut oil, grapeseed oil, it's up to you. There we go. And finally, when the oil is in, again, take a whisk. You see, I'm using, a, again, that uh, plastic whisk to avoid making any noise because it can be quite cringy, you know, with the metal on metal kind of noise. So I'm thinking about you guys and for your ears. Look at that. This is the mustard French dressing. So it's a little bit, little bit I would not say creamy, but you see that kind of consistency. You know, it's nice. You know, it's fluid. And it's got that nice uniform kind of mustardish color. So we're going to keep this on the side for go for the next dressing. Okay, I've reserved my first dressing in the fridge and now we're going to concentrate on the second one that we're going to use for the celeriac. Uh, and this is a sauce remoulade, which is a mayonnaise with basically lots of mustard and a bit of lemon juice. So you start a pinch of salt, yeah, a good pinch of uh, pepper. If you chose, you can use a white pepper. And then immediately, I'm going to put an, an egg yolk in and a good teaspoon of mustard and this is the intention here and when you've got that it's just a matter of again I like the vinaigrette of getting all that mixed together the eggs with the mustard the salt the pepper and so all the flavors are getting in together and then we're gonna add the oil bit by bit when you've mixed everything it's you can add about 200 ml a milliliters of uh, oil so little bit by the bit so I put a little bit in and and you need to have you know, the oil come together with the rest. Huh? So it's an emulsion. So basically all the ingredients start to bind together and it sticks together. So a bit of more oil. And as you go like that, it's just going to start to thicken and thicken and thicken. Huh? So you do the same until all of your oil, but 200 ml of oil is integrated in your mix. Hold on. So my mayonnaise huh, is nice and firm. And the last bit to add is a little bit basically of lemon juice. And this is going to kind of give it a more whitish color to my nest. So a little bit of lemon juice in there. And again, same thing with your whisk. Now, I'm not sure if you're going to see that on the camera, but basically the more lemon and the more kind of a whitish color that is going to get. But this is good for now. Got a little bit of lemon and I'm going to reserve this in the fridge and we're going to prepare the celery egg. And now let's prepare the celery egg. So if you don't know what a celery egg is, it is the root of a celery. And so at the top, you're going to have the, the branch growing, like this is what you see on top of the, of the ground, and underground you have that uh, root. Now, I've cut mine in half because I'm not going to use whole, but this a word of, uh, of warning, it gets very, very dark, it oxidizes very fast. So as soon as you cut it or it's exposed and you start removing the skin, it's important to work very fast and usually use a bit of lemon immediately to avoid that oxidization. And so we want to keep that white color. You can use a peeler. That's what I usually do. It looks like you're not going to be able to do it, but usually with a good peeler, you will see that you can actually go around and peel that root. So it's a bit of a difficult task, but with a peeler, you should be able to do it. So you just go around bit by bit, take your time until all of the hard skin is gone. All right, so I've digged in, there's still some dots in there, but it's pretty smooth. I'm pretty confident that this is gonna be the nice and tender bit and immediately lemon on here. Before I'm gonna grate it, I'm gonna pass this with lemon to avoid and that black oxidation to, to come. So that's ready and I'm gonna cut it in pieces before I grate it. Now, in normal situations, uh, celery has to be grated uh, with a food processor. You want to use the grid, like the grating grid that has got uh, the more coarse ones and not the very thin one, the kind of semi-coarse size. Now, of course, in my situation, I mean, in Airbnb kitchen, all that I find was this thing from the 80s, which is a manual um, grater. I didn't know it existed still, but there it is. So I've cut some of my pieces. I think I just kind of fit in there. And I'm going to do my best to try to actually activate the beast. Oh my god. It's working! I made it! Ready for the Olympics! Jesus, these manual things, they are hard to use. But look at that. I've got some grated celery egg. So immediately before it gets brown, uh, we're going to start to mix this straight off with our mayonnaise. And here we are. So for our first salad, uh, it is simply 
celery remoulade, hein, which is a uh, grated celery, yak, which is actually raw. As you can see, there's no cooking. Hein, so you add some of the celery, yak, and we're going to add some of the mayonnaise we had. And again, it's full of lemon, so it's really going to avoid that thing from getting brown. So with a, with a fork, I'm going to immediately start to incorporate everything. And when you got a base like that, you're going to add some more and some more until everything is in. When all the celery and the mayonnaise is in, and this is what you get. It looks a bit sad or it's a bit stiff, so what are we going to do about it? We're going to dilute this and make it a bit more juicy by adding a little bit of lemon juice and to finish a dash of cayenne pepper this is optional i like to do that to give a little bit of uh, taste and then when it's there again uh, you're going to mix the lemon juice and that's going to add some juiciness into your celery remoulade something nice and lemony nice and juicy uh, and it's got a, a nice looking aspect this is what we want to have on the platter so we're going to reserve that in the fridge and move on to the next thing now, once you've peeled your beetroot, uh, it says by Escoffier you can do actually slices like that. Uh, but uh, for me, you know, generally speaking, uh, I keep this for the chef uh, to eat on the side. I kind of like to make this kind of uh, squarish uh, shape, these little cubes. And so I go around making that kind of a, a square. And then I cut these slices of beetroot. And after when you got your slices, you, you just do the same thing. And you go that way and you got the idea. Your little batonet style. Uh, so if you see, uh, it's this kind of batonet style. And then you can turn around again. And basically, you make these kinds of cube-like shape. It's hard with the microphone and the camera, watching the camera at the same time. But <laughs> roughly speaking, that's what we've got. Now for the onions, um, as Kofi is just saying, basically we're just to thinly slice them. So I guess we're just gonna get the onion like in half like this and just basically go and try to make very, very thin slices. It's hard because they're kind of wet a little bit, but roughly speaking, I'm gonna make some little rings like that. And then we're gonna mix this with the beetroot. Now that the beetroot and the onions is ready, we are uh, ready to make the other dressing, which is the mustard cream. Uh, dressing. So one a good teaspoon of mustard diluted with all of the cream, which is about a hundred ml of cream. Okay, that's the first step. So the goal here uh, is to make the cream a bit thicker. So, you know, you can vigorously kind of whisk it a bit, a bit like a whipped cream, to get some consistency going in there. From here, we're going to add almost the juice of half a lemon. Okay, I'm done. So I'm taking a spoon to show you. Look, this is the thickness, you see? This is the thickness that I've got here. Huh? It's not liquid, but still liquidish. But kind of a, a bit of a whipped cream. So let me try that. Wow. Oh. Escoffier style, you would not believe. And uh, the smoothness of the cream, you know, there's that mustard in the background, a hint of lemon, salt, pepper, goes very well. And adding the onion and the beetroot to that, that's going to be really good. Right, so we're now ready to finish off the beetroot salad. Huh? Got the beetroot on here. I'm going to add all of the onions. I just took one, I think one and a half uh, cooked onion, onions. Huh? So they're not strong at all, they're nice and sweet. And it's just a matter of pouring some of that dressing onto the beetroot. So we're just going to take it easy. I'm going to add one, one and a half uh, tablespoon and very gently kind of roll around like that and mix just the beetroot because they become like this, they get that color. So that's roughly the kind of mix we want. Now just before we're going to dress up our plate now that we've got pretty much everything and we just need to uh, chop some parsley and the shallots. I've got them here and we're just going to really make very thin slices like that, huh? as, as, as thin as you can huh? with your knife. And we're going to use this with the tomatoes. Now for the tomatoes, Escoffier says that usually uh, you need to uh, peel the tomato with the technique of blanching them in, in boiling water and put them in cold water and remove the skin. Uh, I have it at home like this. Uh, even in France, you know, you can remove that bit here, the pedoncule, huh, which is the base of the tomato that's always a bit too hard. So you go around with the knife like that 
Uh, you remove that. And then it's just a matter of really slicing them really uh, as thin, as thinly as you can. That's a very sharp knife. And the goal, even in what Escoffier is saying, is to make your tomatoes, they have to be like paper thin. Yeah? You see the size of that slice? Look at that. That's a thin slice of tomato. And now to make our platter of vegetables, I found this old fashioned uh, Escoffier style. Uh, a little plateau. So we're going to use this and we have to transform that boring dish into something else. So we're going to start by putting all of the tomatoes like this. So as much as I, as I can without putting too much juice everywhere, I'm just going to go around and put a, you know, a base of tomato all around the dish like that. Hold on. So as you can see, I put the tomatoes. I've put some two big ones on here. And then on this side, that's this side of the dish, I'm going to start by putting the celery egg salad. Perfect. So you can't see, but I've left a little uh, flat side on that, on the, on the corner here, because I'm going to try to put salad, you see, the lettuce in the middle. And now on top, usually you put what we call a bouquet. So you roll salad leaves together eh? and is that you get a kind of a bit you, could, you can plant in there. So as best as you can, you're going to push it down and just to have a, that look like a bit of a flower. Once you're here, the way to make a tomato salad is these very thin tomatoes, and then you put on top thinly sliced shallots. Right, and when you're done with these uh, shallots, we're gonna have a sprinkle or a little a dash of mustard French dressing all around. Final touch, usually on the tomatoes, but you can put it also a little bit elsewhere is a sprinkle of color uh, in, the, in the shape of chopped parsley. And here is the Escoffier salad composé, one of the basic salads composé from Escoffier uh, using the free classic dressing. So looking at this, of course, it doesn't look like much, uh, but it's still a bit of work and uh, it, it is composed of different things. So let's recap. We've got here the mustard French dressing mixed with shallot and parsley with the juicy tomatoes. On here, we've got the uh, grated celery yak with a sauce remoulade, which is a mustard mayonnaise with lemon. And I'm going to try that first. Mm. That's fresh, crunchy, uh, and it's in the fridge, it's really cold. It's really nice, goes very well with the mayonnaise. I know the salad. And of course, we jump straight for the second dressing, which is the oven roasted beetroots with oven roasted onions and a mustard cream uh, dressing. Let's have a taste of that. Uh, mm, there's a slight smokiness and this is more the sweetness, the beetroot, the sweetness in there with the cream really marries very well, that kind of subtle mustard, but you don't feel the mustard that much. It is actually really, uh, really enjoyable. But for the tomatoes, I kind of know them, but honestly, I think as a little uh, starter, uh, for friends at home uh, and for you to train your basic, not a bad dish. But that completes today's class, huh? how to make the great basic dressing from Extra Fit S6. We've seen three today and you can train any of those huh? with like this here, the celery, the beetroot, tomato, lettuce. It's pretty easy. I put all the details in the video description, so don't forget to share your impression. If you make the dish, what do you think, what you've tried? Uh, use the comment section if you have any question. You can follow me on Instagram, hashtag French Cook Academy, Facebook, and you can also become a patron on my Patreon page. This is much appreciated. As for me, I'll see you all next time on my next video. Take care all. Bye-bye.